Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss concat method of pandas. Concat method is used to concatenate pandas objects along a particular axis. Pandas object means series and data frames. So you can combine series or data frames row wise or column wise. We can take two or uh, more than two series or data frames and we can combine it using concat method. You can understand this by this example. Here I am taking two data frames and I am combining it column by column and index by index. You can understand this by this example. Here I am taking two series and I am combining it column by column and row by row or index by index. So when I combine these two column by column the resultant output is a data frame and when I combine this series index by index the resultant output will be a series. We will use concat method which is inside pandas to concatenate two or more than two data frames or series. So there are multiple parameters inside concat method we will discuss only the highlighted parameters. You can see the highlighted parameters are here. Also, I have mentioned the four parameters here. We will discuss these four parameters only because these are important. So we will discuss these parameters as and when we progress in our video. So first we will discuss the ob objects parameter. OBJS objects parameter. So objects parameter is a list of data frames or series. So what will happen if I want to concatenate two data frames or more than two data frames I will take those data frame in a list and I will provide that list to concat method. Consider this I am having two data frames. I have printed these data frames here and I am taking these data frames in a list and I am providing to concat method. I call the concat method using pandas alias pd. So pd dot concat uh, and then I will provide the list. This is mentioned as objs in my concat method. So you can see I have not provided any other parameter. So by default my data frames are combining on index. This is my first data frame data and an extra column add is, add is coming this is my data frames data and extra thing that is coming is this so what is happening here let us understand this data frame is having three columns employee id name and department so employee id name and department is coming here and another data frame is having employee ID and address. So employee ID has already come. So only address will come. And uh, when I concatenate this employee ID will come under this uh, column only. You can see my this data is coming here. And because address column is not there. So address is coming as NAN and if I talk about the second data frame so second data frames data employee ID is coming here and address is coming here but the name and department is not there so name and department is coming as NAN. So this is concat method where I am providing two data frames to join them. Second is concatenating two pandas series here I am providing two series in a list this is my first series this is my second series and when I am combining them so they are they are also combining by default on indexes this is the these are the indexes so indexes to indexes are combined or rows to rows are combined so this is com uh, combining two series using concat. 
let us now discuss different parameters first is ignore index so we can see ignore index this is ignore index parameter so ignore index if it is true do not use the index values along the concatenation axis if false give the indices of objects in the resultant output let us discuss this what happens consider this example only here i am concatenating two series so its indexes are 0 1 and 2 so 0 1 and 2 are coming here and second series indexes are 0 1 2 again so 0 1 and 2 are coming here if i want the default indexes for this series this the resultant output is a series so the series uh, uh, if i want the default indexes so default indexes would be 1, 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so this should be the indexes so i can ignore these indexes from the objects by giving the ignore index as true so if i give ignore index as true it will ignore the indexes of concatenating series or data frames so you can see the output is coming with default indexes of series that is 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 it is not taking indexes from here okay now let us discuss the axis parameter axis parameter let us move to our prototype you can see axis parameter so axis parameter says provide zero or indexes one or columns default is zero concatenating on columns or rows we can provide zero or index or rows for this or one or columns we will discuss these so you can see i have combined it using column by column and row by row or index by index i have combined the rows these are the rows of this data frame then i have combined it using the rows of another data frame here i have combined the column of one data frame to column of another data frame so i can tell the uh, python or concat function that how to combine these uh, data frames or series let us discuss this this is axis parameter so i can give 0 or 1 or index or column the default is 0 if i do not provide anything then default 0 will be taken that means it will be joined on indexes we have already seen everywhere in this previous example it is joining on indexes see this example it is joining on indexes it is joining this is my first data frame this is my second data frame so it is joining on indexes it is not joining on columns so in the uh, parameter we can provide how to join them i can provide zero or index or rows here also i can provide one or columns all is having same meaning so in this example i am providing x is equal to rows so i am having two series s1 and s2 so what what is happening when i am doing pd dot concat s1 s2 in the list and x is, e is equal to rows so it is combining them on rows the rows of this data frame has uh, series is combined with these this second series if i give x is equal to columns it is combining on columns the first column has come then the second column has come also you can see it has combined on indexes so matching indexes values are coming one after the other As there is one two and three index there is zero one two index so one and one are combining two and two are combining and there is no three in this uh, series and there is no 
zero in this series. So see what is happening when I am using columns. All the indexes are coming zero, one, two, three. But for zero, the first series is not having zero, so it is coming n a n. And all the one, two, and three are coming one, two, and three. And for the second series, three is not there. So zero, one, two are coming. Three is having n a n. So I hope it is clear to you that when I use columns, so it is combined or concatenated by matching indexes. It will match the indexes and then it will combine. Now let us discuss the join parameter. So join parameter, as we have seen in this example, if it is not there in first series, n a n is coming. If it is not there in second series, n a n is coming. That means all the indexes are coming. All the data is coming from both the series. Let us discuss this in this example. Here I am joining uh, two series, S1, S2, S1, S2. So I am using here join parameter to tell how to join them. So when I use outer, that means take the data from both the series. Here I have taken this uh, series data and this series data. That means both the series data are coming. And where it is not matching, n a n is coming. So by default, the join parameter is outer. If I do not provide, then it will be joined on outer. That means uh, all the data from both the series will come. Consider this series, series one and series two. So when I combine them, using columns x is equal to columns and I use join is equal to outer then all the x is 1 2 3 0 1 2 so 0 1 2 3 are coming and where it is not matching n a n is coming and when I use inner then only matching you can see that 2 will be combined with 2 and 1 will be combined with 1 and 3 is not there 0 is not there so when I use inner so output is this only matching indexes will come data for matching indexes and if I use outer so then this data will come all the data from both the data frame 0 1 2 3 all the four indexes are coming so this is outer and inner so this is our uh, concat method i hope it is clear to you if you have any doubt you can ask in comments thank you